Hello. Today I'm going to be preparing uh, an apple cobbler. And as you can see, I already have my apples. Um, you, uh, most people use uh, Granny Smith apples, but I am using a different type of apple. Uh, what's the name of the apple? Honey, honey, uh, crisp apples. Thank you, grandson. That's what I'm using. So right now I have my pan here, and I'm gonna start by adding my apples in. And I have my my cinnamon and sugar that I'm gonna sprinkle. I'm gonna add the rest of it. So I've added those in there. And I'm gonna add some more cinnamon and sugar to it. I already got my oven ready. So I have a mixture of flour. I have my baking powder in it. And I'm gonna add some sugar to it. One cup of sugar. And I'm gonna mix that up. Mix it real well. I'm gonna pour this mixture over my apples when I'm finished. All right, I've mixed it in really good. My baking powder and my sugar. And I'm gonna add an egg to it. And I'm going to mix this egg in real well, as good as I can. And as you can see, it's not a batter. It's more of little clumps. I don't know if you can see that, but it's more of little clumps. I'm just gonna continue to mix it in until they are like little crumbs. I have my oven already heated, preheated for 350 degrees.
And I'm going to add a little bit more of my sugar and cinnamon. I love what you call sweet, sweet. And I do have a sweet too. And I'm about finished with this, with the flour mixture. Now what I'm going to do, I have to stop talking so loud. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start sprinkling this. Start sprinkling it in. And sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I have to sprinkle all of this on there. Sure. I know I got from the bottom. But I'm just going to continue to sprinkle it. Come on, baby. You know, you got to get in there. Come on, baby. Trying to sprinkle it evenly. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. So I've added all of that. Now what I'm gonna do, I got one fourth cup of water and I'm gonna do it this way. So I know it, get in there. And I'm going to add some more. Okay. Now that I have my mixture, let me clean this off. I'm going to place it in the oven. So I hope that you can see it. Now I'm gonna place it in the oven. Okay, now while my apple cobbler is going, I have some chicken thighs, some boneless chicken thighs. And they have been marinating in some buttermilk along with the different seasonings that I have in here. Salt, pepper, uh, onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, 
a little bit of Obe seasoning. So I have my fire ready. So I'm gonna to start putting these in. Flour them down and put them in. So. All right, this is my first batch of chicken. Nice and golden brown. And I have another batch already in the oil cooking. So, I will return. Okay. My crispy buttermilk chicken thighs are ready. Don't they look good? Yes, that looks good. So, now I'm still waiting on my apple cobbler to finish so i'll be back in a minute so this is my uh apple cobbler you got my buttermilk crispy uh chicken thighs So this is my dish for tonight, my dinner. I have sweet potatoes, whole sweet potatoes, my apple cobbler, my buttermilk, um, crispy chicken thighs, and I have some broccoli that I prepared. So, I'm going to say bon appetit to you all again, and please be blessed.